Hey guys, Chipmunk here, and today I will be talking to you guys about therapy dogs. Now, my school is a bit weird. Uh, instead of having midterms and finals, we have quarterlies, which doesn't prepare you at all for college. I can tell you that right now. We have seniors coming back already from last year saying quarterlies suck. They don't do anything, and I, I can tell that. It's really stressful. Uh... This actually year for the market period three and four, we're doing, um, what do you call it, projects, and they just pile the projects on. So I have projects due every day of the week in, like, the last marketing period, and it's just really stressful. This one family actually hosts seeing eye dogs, people, uh, dogs that <coughs> come from the seeing eye, and actually, so they come in. They, they actually have an Instagram account, and I'll probably put the link below if I forget, sorry. But, um, so yeah, we have therapy dogs that come in, and they take away the stress. They'll come in for each lunch period, and, um, uh, we have four lunch periods. Four, fifth, sixth, and seventh. I have seventh, so sometimes they're not always there during, actually, they're not always there during fourth, or the kids don't know during fourth, so fourth period really skips out unless they're going to the library like I do. And, uh, they post to G when they're gonna be there. Uh, but, um, yeah, and, uh, they even dressed them up. For Halloween, they came in as a witch, and we had, we had a puppy that come, just came in from the seeing eye. We had a black lab that actually just, uh, the puppy was a black lab, but a black lab that just went out to the seeing eye, but she sadly can be in the seeing eye due to a heart arrhythmia. But, um, we had, and then we have a therapy dog who's 11 or 10 or 11 years old named Gracie. And, uh, I'll put her picture up. She was dressed up as a lion. And, oh my gosh, she looked really realistic. But she has the saddest puppy dog face ever. And then there's Colin. Colin's actually my friend's, my friend's friend's dog. That makes sense. I'm pretty sure he's with the seeing eye too, but I'm not 100% sure. But um, I think this therapy dogs only came in two or three times this year. Uh, I missed them one day because I was sick. Was I sick? Yeah. I missed them one day because I was sick. Like, really sick. Like, sinuses were killing me. I couldn't open my right eye. And, um, but they, they really just are adorable. My mom grew up, actually. My uncle had taught their dogs to become therapy dogs, and <clears throat> that's what my mom wants to do, too. When we get a dog, she wants to teach our dog to become a therapy dog because they do, they're adorable. They, if they're, they're obedient most of the time, and they just love helping others. But, um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think about therapy dogs, if they're helpful, not helpful, you think they're adorable if your school brings them in, just like mine does. And, um, yeah, there are also therapy pigs, therapy llamas, everything. <coughs> but, um, this is Chipmunk. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.